the other thing art experience is the collaborative. You know, because it's a world where everything has been created by a user, not some you know uh, old navy or some you know huge corporate uh, economic whatever. You know. Somebody made that particular um, band. Uh, somebody makes all of this, and so your body becomes this walking collaboration. Um, the sandboxes. There's somebody built an airport in our sandbox at BGSU, you know, and, and several people kept continually added to it over the course of the day. Uh, collaboration becomes a big um, key. Both, and, and maybe this isn't the best example, but both in world and out of world where um, I modeled this in Second Life. This is an outdoor classroom um, built in dedication to my aunt who died of leukemia. This is being built at a, her middle school, the middle school she taught at in um, Ohio, um, Independence, Ohio. And so, you know, that's a collaboration I did where I was doing something in world and taking it out. Um, but you can see, and I'm just going to let that play now, uh, you can see these different objects. And so your, your body becomes a collaboration of different people's works if you go and purchase these things or collect them. Um, entire sims, uh, essentially buildings, right? Somebody makes a chair, you buy the chair. Somebody makes the house, you, you get the house. And, and these are people that you can actually meet. You can IM them. You know, every, every object has an owner's name attached to it. So it's a quick search for their profile. Boom, I am. Hey, how you doing? I love that chair you made. You know, or you, whatever. Okay. Um, I, I did a, a machine I'm going to show here at the end um, that, you know, I really wanted this. I ended up making everything for it myself, but I really wanted this one projector that I saw somebody had made. And I just, I am the guy. And, um, you know, I was happy to donate it, but, you know, eventually I, I didn't end up using it. Um, this piece is now on the Princeton um, virtual campus. Uh, the, the visuals were made by one person. The audio was made by two other people. It's a collaborative, immersive art installation experience um, in, in, on the Princeton campus in Second Life. Uh, so I saw collaborations happening, happening that way. Art objects that you interacted with were an obvious sort of you know, first step in collaboration. And so I began um, thinking about how to, how to make an interactive work. How do I collaborate uh, in a virtual space? <clears throat> uh, and one of, the, one of the first things that, that really you know, obviously influences my pedagogical sort of research, uh, you know, work I do with blogs, Wake East, the, you, Patrick mentioned the, the Polychronic Classroom, which is a blog I, I, I work with. Web 2.0 applications in the classroom. And so I was thinking about Web 2.0. Uh, somebody called it yesterday, the new way is two way. Um, and I think this is an image of mine that I, I felt like sort of shared that, you know, that um, this idea that 500 years of critical um, dialogue on, on the Mona Lisa, you know, um, does not exempt her from a, a two minute video on YouTube where you know, there's nothing to think about. It's, it's just what it is. And so you can find this still image. It's a two-minute video of mine on YouTube. Uh, and that's why it says YouTube, because even she is not um, e exempt from this. Uh, ooh, you can't read all that, but that's OK. I'll explain. Um, so I wanted to create an, an interactive, collaborative work where um, I would play with the imagery of Second Life. When you start to layer prims that all have images on them, um, they have a really poorly designed Z-sorting issue. Essentially, um, Z-sorting is the way you view something in relation to your camera in Second Life. And so this is a video game sort of terminology thing where slight movements will make things that are actually way back here pop forward in front of something else because of the center of the way um, it's sorted for you to view. Um, completely horrible. Every other video game system, you know, virtual environment system has solved this issue. Second Life just hasn't got around to it, apparently. So I wanted to play with that. And so I created this um, very long issue. Let me go back here for a second. This very long panel that included all, almost all of the imagery I had created since grad school. Uh, so five years uh, at, at this point of, of imagery, which included, you know, an 88-page uh, graphic novel, um, you know, various uh, other 2D works, documentation of other pieces, all went into these panels. And then you have these buttons on the ground that you can click, okay? And, and they change the images on those panels. And then because of your Z-sorting, 
you get endless variations of you know compositions. You know, it's still a very 2D experience. And so here it is in the gallery, um, and you can see on each side I have these boards here. Okay, it looks like one picture piece. What those actually are are collaborative slideshows where I invited the audience to take snapshots. I really saw that imagery then in the sort of a Creative Commons where the, the audience could take snapshots of whatever compositions they've made of mine, right, and then drag them onto this board where then they could be shared. And so it was, I was sort of giving them a venue for whatever collaboration they had with me. And this collaboration didn't have to be synchronous. I didn't have to be there for it to happen. They could make it happen on their own. And, um, you know, how that affected the meaning of the images was, was really sort of what I thought was going to be a goal. It was, it was what was going to be important in the work. It turned out that um, a lot of the work, and I, and I should skip this actually and show you um, the video so you can see what they came up with. Um, well, a lot of what they came up with was very random, uh, somewhat not related. Some, some of them you'll see are related to what I was doing. Some of them are, are could have been snapshots taken from like Flickr Second Life, you know. Uh, it, it definitely took on a life of its own that wasn't all about my piece. But yet, when you have those together with my piece, it almost creates a narrative of what happened in the space, or uh, you, you can begin to construct a narrative in your mind of of how this relates to this other piece, especially once you know it's a collaborative thing. Um, also, then I was very interested in who owned the work um, because you know they had supplied these images and I had you know given them a place to put them. In the end, I didn't even get to own the work um, when I picked up the object by happenstance of the programming of the script that I the slide show script that I use. Every image that they had donated was returned to them, and so uh, in the end, you know, I have a video documentation of this, uh, this piece, but uh, essentially nothing else. Uh, and then it, it was sort of a 2D sandbox. I felt like in the end it was just some, some place for them to, to sort of, you know, post pictures like Flickr or anywhere else. Uh, and, it, you know, it was still sort of mimicry where it's like, you know, here's a gallery. If you want to have a show, you want to have a piece in the show, just, just put it in. Um, and so you, you see some of those videos they get People are even taking them out to Photoshop and manipulating them in some way. Um, okay, it's 9.20. I've got to get to the last thing. 